P-O-S-T. P-O-S-T. Post. The serials you like the most brings you the Roy Rogers Show, starring the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. It's round up time on the double R bar. So saddle your horse, cause we're going to that bar. The double R bar ranch transcribes stories and songs of the real west with the whippoorwills. The wisest trail scout of them all, Jonah Wilde, played by Forrest Lewis. The Queen of the West, Jay Levin. And in person, the King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers. <laughs> Well, howdy, folks. This is Roy Rogers. Are you all set for a good breakfast in the morning? You are if you're riding with me, buckaroos, because you had your mother stock up that shelf with toast cereal. She knows, just as we do, that you can count on anything bearing the brand name Post. Well, we've just had some good news. Lynn Snyder and his son, Bill, have been working and saving a long time so they could buy a few head of purebred cattle for their herd. And at last, they've accomplished their ambition. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 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 The cattle car on the siding will be ours, Bill. Uh, we sure have been waiting for this for a long time, Dan. <laughs> yeah. With a carload of purebred cattle, our herd will improve 100% in just a few years. Bill? I don't know why, but it's always been hard for me to let down my hair. Not many men have had the luck with the son that I've had with you. Oh, cut it, Dad. No, no, I won't. You worked hard, saving your money every cent, when most boys have been cutting loose and having a good time. My good time will come in seeing our herd grow. Well, then, too, you have a little money in these cattle yourself. <laughs> yeah, we're both lucky I could go to work for Guthrie, though. As crabby as he is, he never sold these cattle, except he took a shine to me. Well, uh, there, uh, the door seal's broken. Now let's see if we can get up in that car. You can stay here. I'll run them out of the car and into the corral. Your thing. Any man could be proud to have any of the Guthrie cattle. We got some of the best of his herd. Hey, hey. Why, by next spring, we... These aren't cattle we picked up. Well, look at them. These aren't even purebred. Well, by doggies, you're right, son. That high binding Guthrie has cheated us. Maybe we got the wrong car. I never saw Mavericks like these on Guthrie's ranch. Look at the brand, 107. That's Guthrie's, ain't it? He wouldn't sell me these no count cattle. Yeah, well, he's pulled sharp deals before on friends, too. You must figure we're nobody because you had to work for him. But, but he stood right there when we was picking out the cattle we wanted. He wouldn't do Come it. on, son. We're heading over to Mineral City and have this out with Guthrie face to face. I might have to send my boy out to work, but I'm not going to be ruined by a cheat. No, sir, I'm not. Ho, oh, oh there. Ho, oh, 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 oh. ho, Hey, look up ahead. I see him. Them is the cattle we picked out. At least one of them is. I remember the peculiar markings. Yeah, I see the one you mean. Yeah, we'll go find out who's got our cattle and where they're going with them. They sure look like the cattle we paid for. The only thing, Dad, they're carrying the box O brand. I don't care what brand they're carrying. I recognize them. I know what cattle we bought. Who's boss in this drive? Now, take it easy till we find out what's going on. I'm the boss. Something on your mind? Yeah, these cattle. What about these cattle? Holster your gun, mister. We're just asking for information. Now, that's right. We want to know where you got the cattle we paid for. If you didn't steal them, then you better start explaining. Oh, Dad! The older man falls, wounded. His son cries out in alarm, then throws himself at the outlaw, unmindful of the gun in his hand. The boss rider lunges, staggering Bill. The three riders step in. Bill, knowing he has a chance against four guns three now hoops, battles furiously to take as much revenge as he can before being knocked out. The boss rider swings hard. Bill wavers, his body crumples. He drops to the ground, untouched. Well, we can't leave him here. You all through if they told what they saw. Best thing is to throw him in the old tunnel. 
A long time before anybody finds him there. Two of the riders pick up the unconscious father and son, throw them over their horses and ride away, while the others drive the cattle on. Four days pass before there is more activity. And then early in the afternoon, Roy and Jonah are having a bite to eat with the sheriff in the Eureka Cafe. Yes, sir, with the plans I got now, I'll soon have a crown to wear on my gray head. Glad it'll be covered, General's boy. Good thing for humanity at large. Yeah. As I was saying, Roy, I've got to go out to Fred Pratt's ranch this afternoon. Tin Star, you interrupted me. Well, what's wrong out at Fred's place? Rush. Yeah, just a second Fred now. reported that he lost some cattle to rustlers last night. You interrupted I don't know whether to take Fred seriously or not. His I.O. brand's never been burned on anything better than scrawny calls. Seems like rustlers would select something better. Dale, to... Dale, bring me a piece of cardwood, will you? Just a minute till I set these plates. Cordwood? What for? This fake law officer keeps interrupting. Ah, fool. Hey, that looks mighty good, Dale. <laughs> I knew you three would be hungry. You always are. All I want to say is one sentence. Hey, my gracious, I'm glad you're here too, Roy. Hey, you look all upset, Guthrie. Didn't you sleep last night? I got a right to look upset. Howdy, Dale, Jonah. Howdy, Guthrie. You know another talk. Uh, there's something funny going on in this territory. I got word the cattle carrying my brand had strayed out beyond Rainbow Ridge. When I went there, I found cattle carrying my brand all right, the 107, but they weren't mine. Oh, nobody would put your brand on somebody else's cattle. Be glad to take you out and show them to you if you doubt my word. And that ain't all either. Last week, I shipped a carload of cattle over to Pine Hills. That young fellow who worked for me all last year bought them, him and his dad. Yeah, Bill Snyder. I remember him. Well, on the way home from Rainbow Ridge, I called on him to see how the cattle was doing. And I found both father and son had disappeared. Well, Bill's not a man to walk off and leave cattle without water. No, sir, he's not. Bill's a careful, conscientious worker. Well, as soon as we eat, Jonah, we'd better ride over there. See if we can get a line on what's happened to Snyder. I can tell you what's happened to him. Bill! Well, here's one of them now. Oh, cotton boy, Lucian, I might as well give up. Roy, I don't want any interference from you or the sheriff. We were just talking about... I trailed Guthrie here, and I'm taking him. Now, be careful, Bill. You trail me? Why, I've been looking for you, Harry. Sit down, Bill. Not until I take care of Guthrie. Sit down, I said. We're not having any gunplay here. Now then, stay there. Here, Jonah, hold his gun. Yeah, you betcha. All I'm after is Guthrie. If I don't get him now, I will later. Fred, the man can get you locked up in a hurry. Well, let's hear what he has to say, Sheriff. If you don't mind telling us what's behind this, Bill. Don't mind a bit. Hey, looky there. He even gets the invite to talk. Guthrie swindled my dad and me. He shipped us culls instead of the good stock we paid for. And when we found his riders driving our good stock out of the country, they used their guns on us. My riders? Why, what are you talking Your about? Your riders, it? Guthrie. Who else would try to get our cattle out of the country? You're mistaken, Bill. You're 100% mistaken. Yeah? Well, they used their guns. They shot Dad, wounded him so he may not live. They dumped us in the tunnel on the box so, and I spent almost four days digging my way out with my bare hands. This has got to be looked into, Roy, fast. I swear my writers had nothing to do with it, and I didn't either. Dad's still in the tunnel, and he's bad off. Fever burning him up. Well, I think you'd be getting a doctor, Bill, instead of looking for revenge. Dale's right. It won't take me long to finish off Guthrie. You're not finishing off anybody. Sheriff, keep him in hand. You can't take down, Bill. There's only one thing that's important now, to find your dad and bring him out of that tunnel. We can do that, Roy. You and Joan and I will ride to the box hill right away. We'll let you know when we get him fixed up. And if Guthrie's responsible, he'll get what's coming to him. Understand? <laughs> ride across country to the Box Hole Ranch. And feeling that every minute may count that Lynn Snyder's life is to be saved, they go directly to the old tunnel instead of stopping at the ranch house first. At the tunnel, they discover a locked metal door across the entrance. Eh, uh, only one way to bust this down. Fire a cannon. Yeah, I done that the time Sob and Sarah was held by the enemy. Who was held by the enemy? Why, Sob and Sarah? Uh-oh, I forgot mm. my resolution. Here, Jonah. 
Maybe we can pry this corner loose. I didn't know you'd even made a resolution, Jonah. Well, I should say I did. Nobody around here listens when I tell my experiences. I can't get a word in edgeways. <laughs> so I thought up a way to make them a crown for my gray head. Is your door given, Roy? <clears throat> a little, I think. Yeah, good, good. Dale, I decided to leave them to folks who'll appreciate these things. I'm going to write a book. No. Yes, sir. And long after I'm gone, folks will read it and sit there with tears in their eyes, thinking of me and the old U.S. Cavalry. Hey, wait a minute. Who's this coming? Yeah, it looks like Les Bruce and some of his riders. Yeah, I bet you she didn't even hear what I was saying. I He'll give us trouble, Roy. He'll say we're trespassing on his land. Yes, yeah, sir. They'll read my book with tears in their eyes. I'm sorry, Bruce. We didn't have time to get permission. Lynn Snyder. Well, then I'm running you off. I wouldn't try to do that. I've got men here to back me up. Now go on, get sure. over. Here's my move. All right, the rest of you polecats grab a cloud. Nice going, Jonah. Yeah, just another chapter for my book. Let's get something straight. There's a man locked in this tunnel. I'll argue about getting off this land after he's out, but not before. Uh -huh. What's that about somebody being in the tunnel? Lynn Snyder. He shot. Been here three or four days. His boy Bill was here too, but he dug himself out. Uh, let me put my hands down a minute. What for? Uh, give me the keys to the door. Mm. Didn't know anyone was in there. Thanks, Bruce. It's all right, Jonah. Well, if he's wounded, he'll need some food before he's moved. We brought some along. Mm, not hot. I'll get something hot from the house. Come on, boys. Get some blankets, too. Here's the key, Rogers. Well, maybe Les Bruce isn't so bad after all, Roy. Maybe not, but I don't trust him yet. Come on in. Let's see how badly Lynn hurt. And give Rogers and the others time to walk back into the tunnel and then shut him in. We gotta finish him off and take care of that Snyder kid. The little game we've worked out will kick back on us. And we don't want that. Say, how about letting the Indians be your guide to heat good eating? Rich, nourishing corn was their favorite food. And bet you one bowlful of new, improved post toasties will make those honest Indian cornflakes your favorite cereal, too. Packed with sweet kernel flavor, so crisp and fresh, they won't mush up in milk. post toasties the heat good cornflakes. Best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. post toasties heat good cornflakes. The best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Heap good corn flakes, post toasties, heap good corn flakes. Yes, everybody's wild about those fresh tasting corn flakes. So be a good Indian mom. Before your band hits the trail, fortify them with big breakfast bowlfuls of flavor packed post toasties. Heap good nourishment with sugar and cream. Post toasties, heap good corn flakes. The best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Heap good corn flakes, post toasties, heap good corn flakes. Roy, Dale, and Jonah have entered the tunnel to look for Lynn Snyder. A short distance away, Les Bruce, owner of the Boxo, has stopped his horse. His men are gathered about him, listening attentively. Yeah, it's not enough just to lock Rogers and the others in there and leave them. Snyder kid is loose. Old country will soon know what happened. Others will come out looking for Rogers and the old man. We'll have to finish them off and then cart them away. And we'll have to take care of the kid, too. Deep in the black tunnel, Roy, Dale, and Jonah stumble upon the wounded man. They bend over him. His condition is bad. He's been without food, water, and attention for several days. I think we'd better bring a doctor out here before we try moving you, Lynn. I do, too, Roy. Uh, I wish my book was read. I could comfort the poor fellow by reading him a few chapters. There's one thing, though. It'll take time to get a doctor out here, and I don't like the idea of staying in the tunnel when Les Bruce is around. I don't trust him. Roy, do you think I got any chance of getting well? Of course you'll get well, Lynn. I hope so. 
I want to get well more than anything I ever wanted. You'll be all right, Lynn. You just save your strength as much as you can. All I want before I go is to have a good herd started for Bill. He's a fine boy. He's the best. I'd like him to be better off than I've been. I've had just enough to get along. No more. Hey, listen. Somebody's coming along the tunnel. Yeah, I hear him too. Hey, boy, if you want, I can ride for a doctor. I ride as hard as I can. And not yet, Jonah. Yeah, this is Les Bruce coming, I think. Uh, Roy? Yeah. I've been surprised at my health. You're all about a light, though. Well, thanks a lot, Bruce. Uh, set him up against the wall, boys. Uh, Roy can get at me. There's water and food. Oh, I uh, sent one of my riders into town for a doctor. Didn't think it would hurt any. Why, that's mighty thoughtful of you, Bruce. One of us was about to go. Well, we appreciate your help. Well, I, I'd like to sort of make up for the way I acted when you first rolled up, Roger. Roy! 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 Now, who's that? Sounds like the sheriff. No, oh, that fellow always shows up. And you're a sheriff inside the tunnel. He knows you're here, eh? Huh? Makes one more. Hey, Roy, I found those cattle that Fred Pappen reported were rustled. Well, what do you want? A medal for heroic service hung on you? Let me finish. Mm. I found Fred Pappen's cattle, but they were carrying J.T. Guthrie's brand. Well, that means somebody's working overtime with a running iron. It may tie in with this trouble. Uh, Roy, uh, I'll uh, have to be getting along. What? Uh, uh, come on, boys. Oh, sure, We've got work to do. Uh, if you need help with Snyder, call me. We will, thanks. Well, I wonder what their hurry is. Mm, just plain impolite. Oh, but don't you take no notice, Tin Star. There's some of us who'll try to stand you, no matter how bad you are. Hold on now, Jimbo's boy. I've taken about all I've... Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. quiet. You sound sick. Listen, Bruce and his men left the minute they found out about the cattle brands being changed, Roy. Yeah, I noticed that. Lynn? I think it might be better to move you after all, instead of waiting for the doctor. Yeah, the doctor can take better care of you in his office, where he has everything to work with. Now, what I came here to tell you particularly, Roy, is that folks in town are taking sides about the Russian. Half of them say Guthrie did it himself, and the other half... Uh, Roy. Yes, Lynn? I, uh, there's something you ought to know. All right. Maybe you'd better have some water first. No, there isn't time. Uh, that... That was the man who shot me. What? That was who? Left Bruce? I don't know his name. The, the man who was just here. I'll go bring him back, Roy. Not yet, Sheriff. We'll get Lynn out first and to the doctor. Then we'll all go after Bruce. Lynn, I'll see if they brought any water. You drank most of the little we brought. Well, I'll get it, Dale. If them poor cats brought any, that is. Well, maybe I should have said something while he was here, but my mind don't seem to work fast right now, and, and I'm afraid... Well, we'll take care of him. Don't you worry, Lynn. I kind of think he's mixed up in this brand blotting, too. Yeah, he must be. Bill said he and Lynn both recognized the cattle on the trail as those they'd bought from Gusset, and that they'd been rebranded. Les Bruce and his riders were driving them. Yeah. Well, they were salty enough to bring water to that. Hey, see? Thanks, Jonah. I'll give it to Lynn. Yeah, I'd like to know what's in the heavy box they brought, though. Not that I'm curious, but... What heavy box? Made of wood. I hit my shins again. Let's have a look. Probably nothing to worry about, but never pays to take chances. Let's see if I've got a match now. Yeah, well, I, I got one here somewhere. Down at the bottom of my pocket, of course. Underneath my pencils and notebooks. Pencils and notebooks? Yeah, right in the book. Never know when some price will come to me, you know. Here's a match. All right. Light it and we'll see. There. Is this the box you... Hey, put it out quick. Huh? Don't drop it. Hold it in your hand until it cools off. What's the matter, Roy? Oh, well, this is a box of black powder. What's that? Oh, they must have been going to set a fuse while they were here and got scared out. Yeah. No, they got the fuse all set. Not the regular kind, but one that'll work just as well. Hey, give me a hand with this box, will you, Sheriff? Uh, where do you want us? Back in the tunnel. At least 10 or 15 feet from here. All right. They pulled a smart one. Bruce had a rider carry the box in behind him. Another rider was following him, laying down a trail of thin black powder. Leading right to the box from the entrance to the tunnel. Can't hold me. Right here, Sheriff. All, right. All they'd have to do is touch a match to the trail of powder at the entrance. It is placed back here within a tenth of a second. We'd all be blown sky high. Roy, no. Lynn's up there. She isn't able to move. It won't work now, Dale. Come on back, Sheriff. The box is far enough away from the trail so it can't explode. We'll lift Lynn out of the way. 
and we'll go to work and put a stop to their plans. Roy and the sheriff carry Lynn gently to the far side of the tunnel, away from the powder trail. Dale follows to ease Lynn's fears, give him what comfort and help she can. Jonah produces another match. Here, Jonah, I'll take that. Roy lights the match, holds it a minute to be sure the flame is caught. He motions the others to get out of the way, steps back himself. He looks about quickly to make sure everyone is safe. They are. He tosses the match into the trail of powder. The powder flashes. A stirring flame races along the floor toward the entrance to the cave. Left, Bruce and his men are at the entrance. They cry out in fear and alarm. Come on. They're just outside. Let's get them. They're getting away, Roy. Yeah, the fastest retreat in history. Gone before a minute could trim a dipper. Trigger, come here, fellas. Sheriff, I'm going to ask you to get Lem to the dock. Bill, will you help him? But you... Jonah... Go get your horse. Cut across country to the Double R Bar Ranch and bring Bullet back. Put him on my trail. I'm riding after those rattlers. And I may need some help. Not alone, boy. Take me out of here, trigger fella. Let's go, boy. Easy, trigger. We don't want to mix with them yet. We'll follow them until they stop to rest somewhere. Easy. Yeah, that's it. They're up there among those boulders waiting for us. We'll turn off to the side here and see if we can get on the cliff right above them. There is no shooting now. No sound of any kind. Save for Trigger's hooves as he carries Roy in a half circle. Around the boulders where the outlaws are hiding. And up toward the top of the cliff above. Keeping all this out of range. The outlaws are watching. Roy is at the top of the cliff. The outlaws know he is. They flatten themselves against the boulders and wait, guns in hand, ready when Roy shows himself. But Roy's in no hurry. He takes his time. He fires a shot to see if he can draw the outlaws out. They give themselves away. Roy marks three spots where he saw guns flash. He waits again, watching those three spots. Sooner or later, the outlaws will become careless. And when they do, but in the distance comes Bullet. Still, Roy waits. Bullet is nearer now. Roy springs into action. Bullet, come on, boy. Here, boy, come on. Bullet races ahead toward the boulder. Jonah with him. Roy runs a little ways, then leaps from the cliff down among the outlaws. All right, Bruce, throw up your hands or we'll finish you fast. Say, have you tried wonderful new Post Sugar Crisp yet? You know, Post Sugar Crisp is the exciting new cereal treat that's been making friends just as fast as it's sold. And no wonder, it's a real round-the-clock favorite. As a cereal, it's dandy. For snacks, it's so handy. Or eat it like candy. Pour it into your biggest breakfast bowls with milk or cream for a delicious cereal treat. No sugar to add, it's already sweet. If it's a between-meal snack you want, Post Sugar Crisp will really hit the spot then, too. And you'll find it extra fun to eat as is, just like candy. Mom will be mighty happy to serve at any time, too, because it's so good for you. Wholesome wheat for nourishment. The sugar and honey coating for quick energy. Make sure you get a couple of packages right away. One is never enough. Remember, Post Sugar Crisp in the giant or regular size red, white, and blue package with the three little bears on the front. I'll take this bull cat, Roy. He's the one I want. Yeah. All right, go to work on a bullet. Go to work. I'll you your bike here. Not now, you won't. <laughs> Roy, when you get tired, you better do something about this dog, or we won't have no business to take old Tim's dog. Hey, Bullet. Hold it, boy. Hold it, Bullet. Come on, Bruce. You have some talking to do, beginning right now. About what? Cattle brand. Talk fast. Bullet's not tired, and I'm just getting my second wind. 
Keep a gun on those others, Jonah. I dare any one of them to blink an eye. I dare them. I don't hear you, Bruce. Well, there's nothing to it. This little game the boys and I thought up. Come on, quit stalling. I've had a long time grudge against Guthrie. So I rustled some of Fred Pabbert's cattle. The scrawniest ones I could find. Blotted the brand so it looked like they belonged to Guthrie. I wanted Guthrie to get in bad for not delivering the cattle he promised buyers. You rustled the cattle Guthrie sold then and substituted Fred's cattle for them. Yeah, that was my plan. What became of Guthrie's cattle? Well, I figured to rebrand them too and slip them into my own herd. I don't think the law's going to like your little game, Bruce. And you and the boys here ought to get about five years free board for what you've done. And a good deal more if Lynn Snyder dies. Lynn's going to be all right, Roy, in time. I'm awfully glad of that. Yes, me too. He and Bill are the kind of father and son teams that, well, we like to have in this territory. Why, he lives just to give Bill a better life than he's had. Oh, convolution. Here comes old stop in the name of the law. Got them all locked up, Sheriff? Hi, Roy. Jonah, I'd like to see you a minute. Yeah, Roy, <coughs> now protect me. This poor cat probably trumped up some charge against me. <laughs> I understand, Jonah, that you're thinking of writing a book. Well, is there any law says I can't? And the book is to be all those lies you've been claiming. <laughs> now, wait a minute. true experience. You can't <laughs> Wait a minute. I just want to say I heartily approve of the idea. Yeah, I don't care if you <laughs> see it, do you? Huh? I want to do everything I can to further it. And I've come to give you a little present. I think you'll need this, John. Take it. Well, well, I say, well, I guess I misjudge you. Well, open it up, Jonah. Yeah, well, well, I am, I am, just as fast as I can. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, I say... <laughs> A first-grade spelling book. Why, you king third cold cat. <laughs> yeah, hold him. Help me hold Jonah, Dale. <laughs> He's gone wild, Roy. Well, grab that pitcher of ice water and throw it on him. We've got to cool him all. <laughs> Goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you. by Milton Charles.
Featured in today's cast were Frank Hemingway, Herb Butterfield, Bill Green, Pat McGeehan, Ralph Moody, and Sam Edwards. This is Art Ballinger speaking for P.O.S.T. Post Serial. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds if we're together?